Hey y'all, this is Lala from Lala Farm. Today I'm gonna to be demonstrating how I use my new Christmas gift. So first, before I start showing you how I use my new Christmas presents, which is this new handy dandy cement mixer. Yes, I got a cement mixer for Christmas. How cool is that? I am a farm nerd and this was like something that I really wanted and it's gonna work really well for me. But before we get to that, I'm gonna show you how I used to mix feed. So I use <coughs> One part black oil sunflower seeds, which is also known as boss. You'll see that how it's referenced in a lot of <clears throat> posts in different places. You use oats uh, and barley, which and I use alfalfa pellets, and that mixes. That's what their feed is made up from. Um, I choose to mix my own. I have tried several different brands of um, already mixed prepared pellet feeds, um, <clears throat> but I've chosen to mix my own. It saves me quite a bit of money and uh, I know exactly what they're getting. So uh, it's just something I choose to do. Other people like to use um, pelleted goat feed that's medicated. I don't use any type of medicated stuff with my goats. So you start with a base mix, and that is one part black oil sunflower seeds, three part oats, three parts barley, So this gives you your base mix. And what you do is you put it all in there and then you mix it up. Now some people add calf manna um, if they're trying to put weight on their goats. I don't have that problem. Um, but go ahead and you mix it until it gets good and mixed. All right, this is your base. Then you have to take another bucket And you take one scoop of your base mix to three scoops of your alfalfa pellets. And then you have to mix it by hand. And this is what you come up with. So that's one mixing and then you take it and you dump it in the goat feed bin. So as you can see I use a 55 gallon drum. This is uh, for storing feed. I get it from my local feed store which is where I get all of the ingredients for the goat recipe. And as you see this is what that hand mixing came up with was this small amount and then I empty it in here. Well, when you're doing it by hand, you get very small amounts in there. And so as you're doing it by hand, it takes forever to get this done. So usually when I had all five grandkids here, um, I would set up like a little manufacturing line and the grandkids loved it because then each one had their part where they had to pour something in the bucket and then it's a law law farm sweatshop. It is, really, and <laughs> but the grandkids love it. So, especially my little Amalia, she just thought it was the awesomest thing to mix feed, and uh, Abigail would rather play with the cats, but they all worked on it. So, now I'm gonna demonstrate to you how getting my uh, cement mixer is gonna speed up the process. Now this right here is the difference between the amount that you can hand mix and the amount that this concrete mixer will do. 
there's quite a bit of a difference all right both of these buckets are the same size this right here was mixed by hand this right here was mixed by hand that right there was mixed by in one shot with the concrete mixer so we've definitely upgraded our scoop sizes now that we're using the concrete mixer and uh we're no longer using the how big is that cup mom like three cups four cups maybe a little bit bigger than that It measures by pound, uh, di by different types of feeds. You can get this at your local feed store. I got. It's like a large. It's yeah. like a large kitchen size cup. If so, you want to drink, like, you know, it's a mug. Okay, so one scoop of this gives you, if you fill it all the way up to the top, it's going to give you um, a pound and a half of pelleted feed. That's how the, it's broken out that way. So I was using this where I'd mix, you know, one to three to three and then one to three. So um, that's what I was using. And it took me forever to do, uh, you know, to fill my big storage bucket over there. My big storage bin over Sorry, there. I'm having to shoo away chickens. Shoo, so, chickens. <laughs> but now because I've got this, I, I am using this measurer and which is three pounds of pelleted feed so is what this measures out to but this is what i'm using to do my measurements now we gotta get rid of these so, chickens we gotta get rid of these chickens 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 go away go away chickens All right, we got about five minutes of privacy. Go. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm using this. And as before, where I was doing one part of the base to three parts of alfalfa with this, I can now, with the cement mixer, do two parts of the mix with this to six parts of alfalfa with this, which goes significantly faster. This is what we've already mixed. Now we're getting six large scoops. Put it in the mixing position. Now look at it. Look at it right now before she turns it on. Everything on the top is the alfalfa pellets, and I'm 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 going to care to guess that there's about four rounds of this, and that's going to be completely mixed. It's like a magic trick. No, go ahead. I got it. Totally different mixture. Yep. There you go. And then it's as simple as scooping the bucket up to it. And unload it into the into the bucket. a full bucket of feed which would have taken me a long time to mix up last before how long do you think that much feed would have uh how long do you think that much feed would have taken you to mix by hand well it takes me about uh 45 minutes to an hour to do that by hand if i'm doing it with and madeline done, and we've done this much in 
five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah. That's a lot of feed in five minutes. It's awesome. It's fast. It's convenient. And my hands don't hurt. You're not all that sweaty either. It doesn't even look like you've done any work. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if you like the video, make sure you subscribe, ring that bell, and uh, like the video. Leave any comments down in the bottom. And remember, always be kind to each other.